to start us off real quick, here's the one and only for you. For the 80D was the 70D, both great cameras. The reason why I like them so much, this flip out screen is everything when shooting vlogs. Now maybe it's not everything, but it's definitely something. And most importantly, Sony, it is missing. So here's my first best shot at this problem. <music> It's a three-part series. Part number one right here is going to show you how to build the setup, what variations there are, what parts you will need, and how they fit together exactly. Part number two is going to show you how to set up the necessary software, and part number three is going to be troubleshooting and tweaking the setup into performing at its highest possible level. All of the parts are linked up here. So without further ado, let's get right to it. When using a regular L bracket like this one, there's only two things we need. A mini ball head like this, without all the unnecessary parts, simply screws onto the vertical part of the L bracket. And when choosing a ball head, make sure this knob is not too big. You have to be able to fasten and loosen the ball head while it's mounted to the vertical part of the L bracket. Then we're gonna need what's called a Glyph Quick Release Smartphone Grip that has a quarter inch tripod mount on the side, because this allows us to simply screw it onto the top of the ball head like this. And this is pretty much what you're looking for. Now apply your favorite Sony camera. You can slide it up all the way to the vertical part of the L bracket if all you want to hook up is a microphone. Because with this setup, we're going to have to use the Sony multi-interface hot shoe, not the 3.5 millimeter mic input. Why that is, I'm going to show you in the third video where we're going to troubleshoot this setup. If you do want to hook up something else than a mic and you have to reach the connectors, you either have to live with this nasty gap or move the whole setup to the other side where number one, you will block the NFC plate and you will have a setup that's rather unconventional with the screen being on the right side instead of the usual way that is the left side. Then of course hook up your phone, put the camera into Wi-Fi mode and use the smart remote controller to make the whole thing work. Now the L bracket that I'm using right here is among the more expensive ones but generally L brackets are pretty cheap which is definitely an advantage of them. Also an L bracket still allows for the use of a battery grip which if you mount the whole contraption onto the other side will enable you to at least reach the battery compartment because if you're using this setup in the configuration without a battery grip and the screen being attached to the right side you will not be able to access the battery and the SD card slot. Same problem if you're using it on the left side, except if you're willing to live with the gap. Now if you want to use a cage, you're going to have to use one of these tiny quarter inch to quarter inch screw adapters. Screws in right here. Again, we're using a mini ball head. This time it's a little slimmer. And again, we're using it without all the unnecessary parts. Goes right on top of the quarter inch to quarter inch screw adapter. Glyph goes right on top of the mini ball head. And this time, this is what you're looking for. Now, depending on what kind of cage you're using, you might have to detach the lens from the camera to apply it to the cage. Now cages definitely have their downsides. Number one, they're relatively expensive compared to custom L brackets and L brackets. Depending on the model you have, you might have to detach the lens from the camera body to apply the cage to the camera. And usually you cannot use a battery grip when using a cage. But on the upside, and this is especially useful for Sony cameras, cages usually help with heat dissipation, so they will help with overheating a little. Also, given all the possibilities to mount something onto the cage, it's definitely the most versatile out of the three options. On top of that, and that's probably the biggest upside when using a cage, because the cage is fitted to the camera body, it's easy to reach the camera's connectors and the battery and SD card slot. Now this one right here, the custom L bracket, is my favorite option. Make sure you get one that has a quarter inch mount on the vertical part. Quarter inch to quarter inch screw adapter, screws right in here, mini ball head right on top, glyph quick release right on top of that. And this is it. Camera goes right here, smartphone goes right there. Now there's really only two downsides. With this one, with the back part of the vertical part being solid, it's very hard or impossible to reach the connectors unless you move this phone out a little. Then reaching the connectors at least is possible, but still inconvenient. But since for our vlogging setup, reaching the connectors is not important, I don't really mind all that much to be honest. I usually keep the phone all the way in. The second downside, like with the cage, you cannot use a battery grip when using a custom L bracket. And this of course brings us to the advantages because again it's a custom fit it will allow you to access the battery and the sd card slot also it's pretty lightweight and basically the best compromise in terms of a price to benefit ratio because these usually go for around about 20 to 30 bucks i'd say if all you want to do is hook up a custom tilt swivel screen aka a smartphone remote control to your sony camera this is the best pick out of all of the options that i showed you now should you not find a custom l bracket with a quarter inch mount on the vertical part for the camera that you're using here's a quick workaround <music> 
Use a little Aka Swiss compatible plate like this with either a quarter inch or three eighth of an inch mount on the bottom. Slide it onto the vertical part of the L bracket and tighten it. If you have to, use one of these three eighth of an inch to quarter inch adapters. Screw them right into the bottom of the plate. Quarter inch to quarter inch adapter. Mini wall head. Glyph quick release smartphone grip. And again, you're good to go. It's a very versatile setup. This, for example, is double back screen that comes in very handy if, say, you're outside on a bright sunny day and you're shooting 4K and the camera levels down monitor brightness by default. With your smartphone as an external monitor, on the other hand, where you can always control screen brightness, you will have excellent quality live view in all situations. Then, of course, we got selfie screen, right angled option one and right angled option two. If, say, you want to install the camera next to yourself on the passenger seat. Then, of course, top view and bottom view. So if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, and if you haven't already, feel free to check out parts number two and three that are linked up here. And please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Also, should you feel like supporting the channel, definitely check out the video description, there might be some product links that are interesting for you. In any case, as always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching, and hopefully, see you again soon.